Hi everyone, this is Mike Ellick. In 1932, the contacts arrived, and Zeiss Icon finally had a 35mm rangefinder to compete with the Leica. While it was far from perfect, it gave Zeiss Icon a foothold in a segment that so far had been dominated by Leica. By the time the contacts was introduced, however, other players had jumped into the pool, notably Kodak with its daylight loading 35mm film cartridge and its retina camera from the Kodak AG operation in nearby Stuttgart. The 35mm film cartridge was transformative in that it now opened the miniature camera segment to a new group of photographers who up to that point were not interested in measuring, cutting, and loading a film cassette, all done in total darkness, of course. This leads us to the Super Nettle. Produced from 1934 to 1938, it was Zeiss Icon's second 35mm camera and was the basis for a later camera, the Netax, which all feature in a different video. The Super Nettle was Zeiss Icon's second 35mm camera and was a lower cost alternative to the Contax. The Super Nettle borrowed a few things from that camera. Actually, it borrowed a lot of things. The shutter, the frame counter, film spool, and the back unlocking keys. The Super Nettle also foreshadowed a couple of features that would soon be on the Contax too, notably the film advance knob and shutter release and the lift and turn shutter speed dial. The Super Nettle offered two non-interchangeable 50mm lens options, both Carl Zeiss Jena Optics, a Triatar, which was a triplet with three lens elements, and the Tessar, a four-element lens. The Sonar was available at that time, but I don't believe that it could have fit this folding camera. The lens would have been too thick to allow the lens bed to close. The Super Nettle has a rectangular lens panel with alternating black and chrome stripes on the front. One of the corners is occupied by a wheel, which is used to focus the lens. Like the contacts, it has two eyepieces, one for focusing and the other for composing your photograph. This camera uses knob wind and knob rewind. In addition to having to press and hold the rewind button on the top deck, you are also challenged by the rewind knob being right next to the viewfinder housing. That means that you can only turn the rewind knob a little more than halfway each time. From personal experience, I can tell you that it takes an extraordinarily long time to rewind a roll of 36 exposures. The Super Nettle can take a standard 35mm film cartridge, or you can use one or two Zeiss Icon film cassettes. The great thing about the Zeiss Icon film cassette is that it never changed in roughly four decades. That means you can use any Zeiss Icon film cassette in any camera that has turnkey turn key removable backs. That includes all Contax cameras, the Super Nettle, Netax, 10X2, Contaflex, both the twin lens reflex and the single lens reflex models, and the Contrex. The shutter is a vertically traveling focal plane shutter. There's a retard assembly that controls the slow speeds of 1 5th to 1 25th. You can hear the shh of the slow speeds. Did you hear that? Like the contacts, it's not unusual to find a camera that needs to have the shutter straps replaced. What's it like to use the Super Nettle? I find that holding the camera like an SLR cradled in your left hand works very well. With my right hand, I have my index finger on the shutter release and use my middle finger to turn the focusing wheel. So the Super Nettle uses rotating wedge prisms to achieve correct focus. It's a very durable system. Once calibrated, it rarely, if ever, falls out of alignment unless there is physical damage to the camera. My camera has the Triatar lens, and when used carefully, it is a very good lens. I still think the Tessar is a better lens. The lens sits right out in front with no shading at all. The uncoated lens flares easily, so be mindful of light sources, the sun, light bulbs, street lights, etc., in your photos. This camera took a lot of work to get into usable shape. It required a major teardown as well as cleaning of the viewfinder and rangefinder prisms. The leather had bumps on the back, which today are often called Zeiss bumps. The story is that the lacquer used to bond the leather to the body reacted to the brass rivets. The only way to remove the bumps is to lift the leather, remove the debris, and reattach the leather. This camera was also missing the tripod socket. At some point, it was removed from the body. I don't know why or the circumstances. I can only say that when the camera landed in my hands, it was gone. 
I bond it to the bottom of the camera, a tripod socket from a Kodak Retina. It covers the hole, but I wouldn't trust it to hold the camera. There was later models, the Super Nettle 2, which I'll show you now. It differs from the first model in that it has a satin chrome lens bed, top deck, and bottom plate. Otherwise, both cameras are mechanically identical. This was Zeiss Icon's only pre-war folding 35mm camera and only one of four folding 35mm models that it ever produced. One quick note about the word pre-war. Among classic camera users, pre-war refers to the period before the end of World War II, while post-war refers to the period after the end of World War II. I don't know how this description originated, but this is what is used by classic camera owners. I'll now show you how to open the Super Nettle. There's a small brass button on the top of the camera. Press that button and the lens panel will open. If you notice, it says Super Nettle right on the lens bed. The lens bed drops down, however, it doesn't lock into place. By the way, this uses scissor struts, as you can see. On each side of the lens panel, there are some small serrations. And what you do is you grab the lens panel on either side, pull forward until it locks into place, and you'll hear it. When you're ready to close the camera, there are small tabs on either side of the lens panel. Press both, and then using a free finger, lift up on the lens bed. Close it, and it will lock into place. I'll end this video by showing you a few photos that I took with the Super Nettle. I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching.